G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm installing a UV filter I got on the weekend for free. Uh, so we're going to set that up, I'm going to show you how I'm setting it up. I'm going to run the pipe work a little bit different um, so that it's coming from the up pipe and then feeding into the grow bed. I'm going to filter through and hopefully we can change this water colour a little bit. Uh, so I'll grab all my stuff and set the camera up and show you how I'm going to do it. So this is the UV filter I had, I have been given on the weekend, so as you, as you can see here it has um, an outlet and an inlet, so I'm going to collect some vinyl um, clear piping to this side, and then that way I can bend this and move it around if I need to move the pump or need to move the filter in there, and then the out one's going to come from the top here and then revert over back to the grow bed, uh, we'll fix that up and I'll show you how we're going to do it. No, I'm just going to start by taking all this excess cabling down. So what I have is an old um, bin, little bin like this. I'm going to sit up and um, put all my electrics in here. That'll keep it a little bit more tidy and keep it semi-waterproof. I don't think any rain's going to get up and inside there. It has to come up a fair bit. So I'm going to set the filter in and see where we have to drill on the sides here. Probably, I'd say it'd probably be around here. Um, then we can just do the flow from here and then back, back it back up into the top there. So let's get on to it. Okay, so what I did is I marked, I put it inside there and the pipes come, that's the uh, inlet and the outlet's just here. I've marked them on the can't pretty see on the camera. But then what I'll do is I'll just drill a, a hole uh, 32 mil round here and that'll fit the 25 mil pipe in with these give me a little bit of wiggle room so let's get, let's get on that so there we go that's all hung up I'll just grab some some handy old measuring pipe I have uh, So if I cut a bit of flex pipe, well, you can't really see good there, but about the length of that, that should be plenty. So I'll go cut two of those and I'll come back. This is the pipe I'm using. It's a clear, clear vinyl tubing, food grade, so I won't have any issues with the fish, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Better to use these. Let's see how these cut. These are a lot sharper. PVC cutters. I'll get a straighter cut there as well. See that's a nice little cut there. So I'll just cut another one of these. About the same length. Might the train going by. You want to know what the howling is? One of the very rare times you can actually hear a train up here. Okay, so we got our two pieces of pipe cut. And we'll go and put these in and we'll see what else we need. So as you can see, I've got my two holes drilled there and marries up with the inlet and the outlet just there. Um, won't leave too much room around the holes, so you won't get any vermin or um, hopefully not much water through there. If not, I'll just have to put a little cap over the top here to stop the water going in. Now I just, I've got an O-ring clamp there. So I'm just gonna put that through the hole and clamp that onto the pump, uh, the filter, sorry. that up make sure everything's tight there no water leaks
Then the second one here, we'll just put that through. Oops, put the O-ring on. I'll clamp that first. I don't see that coming off there. Top job. Uh, just make sure this side's tight, which I don't think it's going to get any tighter. Oh, maybe half a screw there. Okay, so there it is. Not going to win any beauty pageants, but it's going to get the job done. This going to be nice and secure from the weather. Um, so with the electrical board, I'm going to put my whole electrics in here. So let's get this up and see how we go. There you have clean cut every time. Alright, so I'm gonna keep this little piece for the moment. I'll show you what we're gonna fix up with the outlet on that in a second. Um, I'm just gonna clean this up a bit. Put a new elbow on the side here. Now also got this. This is how it'll be connecting to the the inlet, or the that's the outlet of the pump, and then it'll go into the inlet of the filter. We're just going to use a little 90 degree elbow, and we've got one of these um, push-on screw-in fittings. So there, one way you can do it. These very cheap from the plumbing store. I think I paid about five dollars ten for both of them. So that easily just pushes on like that. As you can see, that's nice and secure. That's not going anywhere. Then we just get this pipe, pull it back. Fits in there nice and snug. Just have to grab an O-ring. I'll be back in two seconds. Now, I just said O-ring, but I actually mean a, a ring clamp. Um, so that's what we're gonna secure it in place with. Uh, what we'll do is bend this back, put our ring clamp on there, and push that in place. I'm going to push it far, far enough down so that it meets the end so that you can clamp the top and it gives it some stability to hold on to. Make this snug but not over secured on a snap of plastic. So that's not coming off there. Alright, so secure that back in place with the cable tie. Um, cut that end off. Sorry, I'm blocking your view there. So just cut that off. Now put the plastic back into the aquaponics system. Might need to move that down one, just to give that a bit more bend. And that over there like that, so that'll get water flow through it. And, this one here is going to be secured up the top here. So what we're going to do is put another clamp on there and push that one down as well. As you can see as far as it can go down. Secure this one in place. That will lay across like that. I'll move my just where I put the water inlet into and we'll secure that there with a cable tie but I might actually move it down because I want to secure my little flow rater meter there so it can not be full blast and it'll work. not let too much water out now we're going to secure that there with a the cable tie. Or seven. I just need to drill a little hole through the plastic there. I'll be two seconds. Okay, so I want to drill one either side. That's just got a little drill piece on them. Just using that as a the guide so I don't go too far. 
Okay, now you want to put cable tie in and exit over that way. Secure that one in place and grab number two. And same on this side. That'll just stop it rocking and rolling. There's a little bit of water pressure build up or something. <coughs> okay. Might need to be moving this round actually. We'll see how we get some flow water in there, but yeah. That's the fittings done for it. Now we'll just do the electrics and make sure it's all hunky dory. I've got a little bit of a problem here. I've got the hose here has a kink in it, so we're gonna have to shorten that a little bit and it'll stop the kink a bit. Not much, but just enough to stop the kink. Bring back on. Open that up a little bit. That back on. Okay, so once temperature and a bit of water goes through there, they'll straighten out a bit. This one here is a bit harder. Oh no, that's plenty of room there. Okay, let's do the electrics. I'm going to stick my board just straight in to protect the whole a lot of them from water I'll plug my UV filter in and have some fingers crossed that it's actually working and we might take them up a little bit Put that through there That one up through there as well. Tuck the excess cable in. Turn it on now and keep our fingers crossed that everything's hunky dory. Okay. Here we have water flowing in. You have to get water flowing out. Ah, here's a goer. Let's open that valve for a minute. Just down into that a little bit. Mm. Is there a problem? 